Hi guys, today we will have a look at this. So it is an autopilot or at least a flight attitude controller for a Soviet aircraft. You can see it is a round box with one plug, some caution plate here with special instructions. Here is the model number, it is on BC, so it does give BS in, a, in a Cyrillic. In a, from the convertible of Cyrillic 155A. So there is uh, basically one top and one lower part. The top part has this cover here, and the lower part, as you can see, has uh, a plate with two holes here. They are potentiometers and they are sealed with uh, wax. Old school. It is for tangage and uh, roll. So, uh, yaw and roll. Okay, so I will lift this cover for you. So, here we are. On the cover inside, you can see the, all the venting holes. So we have uh, six modules. They are of two different kinds. And on the middle we have a box. So we are going to have a look, uh, detailed look to all of this. So the box contains a uh, servo mechanism. The bottom contains mainly relays and wirings. So let me set up the macro stand and we will have a detailed look. So we are back. First we will have a look at these um, modules. I did unscrew two of them. So here is the model number. With a serial number also. So you can see it is made with a metal, a die cast metal part here. And I will remove it. The cast metal part here and uh, still uh, well plate metal plate here and all aluminium. So it is double sided. On the bottom you have a, a, a plug. It is a, it looks like a DB plug almost. You have power transistors on the both sides on this one. You can see the dead code. It is from 1979. And here are the contents. You can see there is a very, very nice uh, transformer here. Very, very beautiful. One smaller one here, it is a toroidal one. And on this side, we have uh, dead bug mounted transistors in a black metal cans. One more toroidal transformer and a green cap of this uh, weird shape. But for me, it is uh, just uh, something usual. Okay, so the other module. Here is my model number. So it is almost the same thing. Toroidal transformer, dead bug transistors, power transistors on the side, some uh, quality stamp here or something. And uh, back side. Okay, so now we will have a look in under the this uh, main cover here. Let me unscrew it for you. So we are back. As, as you can see, I removed the middle cover. As, as you can see, it is a very, very, very beautiful mess. We have three similar looking uh, things. Synchro motors probably. This, I do not know, since they are synchro resistors or servo motors with the wipers here. You can see all the wiring going down in the middle through some, uh, it looks like a rotating uh, connection almost. This is maybe a magnetic clutch. It is really, really, really nice. I will zoom it for so zoom in for you. Camera will not let me zoom more than it, but 
you can see how it is made it is really really nice so since there is a wall plate here which should be removed but I will not do it because I don't know where I am going if I do it okay so I will close back this top uh, section and uh, I will show you the bottom uh, part now you can see it is really 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 nice I'm back, so we will now have a look at the bottom plate. If I may need to lift it, because you have this grab point. Okay, so we have two holes I was speaking about previously. You can see the inside, it is nicely, nicely anodized aluminium. And here we are. What do we have here? Oh my god, so you have a main connector here, you have a big blue harness here, some synchro motors, and all around here, I can tell you, they are relays, they are uh, relays in a metal can, metal, cylindrical metal can, I will try to find one to show you, I will unscrew this, to show you the content because if I remember correctly there is a real mess in it not sure if I did not lose the washer here and so okay so I will show you this uh, under this plate in one second so you can see all around you have uh, contacts. So we remove this plate. Ta -da! There is pure geek porn, guys. I do not know exactly what we have here, but it is just awesome. So you can see the wires going through a central column to the other side some uh, wire uh, conduit then uh, distributed all around this box to, uh, through uh, the soldering post you have here three uh, similar things so they are motors or synchro motors with uh, I can see some gears or re reduction gears all over the bottom you will not be able to see it, but there are gears on the all at the bottom. Maybe I can try to light it for you. So I will zoom anyway onto the thing. Okay, so you can see the big blue wire uh, harness here. Some two two things here. Then one of the potentiometers you can access through the cover. This one is for tongue, so it, it is uh, a rod, I think, in, uh, in English. So you have uh, the wire harness going all around here, distributed to all these uh, metal can relays. Yeah, really, really a lot of them. You have some uh, in shrink uh, wrapper diodes here, metal can diodes. Then more wiring and more relays all around, and then the other potentiometer. And in the middle, we have so the three motor assemblies and all the wiring going down to the other side we did open previously. Okay, so I believe this should be a good. Uh, here is for you. A wallpaper. Feel free to take it as a wallpaper. Or like this, if you, if you prefer. Maybe. Not bad also. Or like this wallpaper also with a big uh, harness. So it is really a beautiful piece. Very, very heavy, almost uh, 8 kilos, I should say. 
six or eight kilos, something like this. It is very easy for its size, very heavy. So you can see uh, all at the bottom here the brass mounting plate of the motor, so you, you can guess one gear all in there. So I am very happy to have this uh, part. It is one of my most uh, significant uh, uh, Soviet avionics parts. But I have something uh, even better, of course. I did not show it yet, but... Uh, so you can find uh, iRes photos of this into my Flickr account. I will link it into the description. It, you have to dig, but you will find them. So, here is one last view for you. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more uh, awesome things. Bye bye.